Okay, good. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Amy Matheny. I am the chemical hygiene officer for this building, and I also manage this laboratory. Um, I make sure that you guys get all your media every week that you need um, and make sure everything's nice and organized and clean. So I'm mostly behind the scenes. You won't see me in person a whole lot, but I might like be wandering around in the backs in a tie-dye lab coat. And that's me. Um, I am in charge of making sure that you guys know all of the safety regulations for um, any classroom on campus. Um, so who has taken a lab before? Yes, thank you. I'm so happy. Most of these regulations are going to be um, things that you should have gone over in your last class. Um, none of these things are really new. The only difference is probably that we clean a little bit more often that you might have in your other classes because we do work with microorganisms. Um, uh, but most of these rules are set down by OSHA or the EPA or EHS. These are federal regulations which we're audited on um, routinely. So if we break these regulations, most of them result in a $37,000 fine, which you personally can be held responsible for or WPU can be responsible for. Um, and I don't know about you, but if I had 37,000 extra dollars, I would not be driving a Honda Civic and I would be doing a lot different things with my life. So make sure you listen up, follow these rules, um, and make sure that you're protecting yourself and others. I'm not really going to be talking about COVID regulations very much. These are all lab things, but obviously try to social distance when possible. Your mask has to be worn over your nose and your mouth at all times on campus unless you're eating or drinking, which you can't do in here. So in this room, unless you get get them wet or some kind of chemical or something on them. You must wear masks at all times. If something happens to your mask, you can't afford on something, come talk to Dr. Shin at the beginning of class and there are masks up here, um, which you can use. Okay, so first, obviously you have to be in this lab courteous and professional to protect yourself and others. We're gonna have Bunsen burners going in class. We're gonna have different chemicals. We're gonna have microorganisms out. And the least, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> all of the clocks are broken. Um, the least courteous and professional thing you can do in the lab is rough house or be like pulling your neighbor's hair or messing with them when we have dangerous things out on the bench tops. Um, because this is a microbiology bio laboratory, we're going to be working with living organisms. Most of these are not dangerous, like we use E. coli and stuff, but most of them are non-pathogenic strains. Um, but we have to treat every microorganism that we work with as if it's a human pathogen. So this is partially to protect yourself, and it's also partially to protect others. So if you get covered in E. coli, and you run to Kroger and you're grabbing all the apples. You've just got E. coli over all of those apples. You're not washing your hands after lab. Um, so you need to make sure that you treat every microorganism respectfully and as a potential pathogen. Um, do not ever hesitate to ask questions if a laboratory procedure is even the slightest bit unclear. Nobody is gonna be mad at you for not catching every single word when we're talking. Um, or not like reading through your manual or something. The most important thing is that you understand exactly what you're supposed to be doing so that you can stay safe and keep your work as high quality because there's nothing more annoying than having to go back and redo your lab three different times because you weren't listening to the procedure or you weren't following good lab technique. Um, before you enter the lab, I know this is the first day, so this rule will be instated next time you come in but all personal items have to be left in a locker outside. And you guys being the first class are lucky because I put a piece of white tape in front of all of your chairs, which may or may not be sticking very well, that has a number one through 19. You're the first class, so your locker number and your tote number gets to be your seat number. Um, so before you come into class, you need to put book, book, bags, 
books, extra notebooks, jackets, any of that stuff, it has to go in your locker. And there's several reasons for this. One, there are microorganisms all around us. Our clothes and our bodies are all covered in microorganisms that we don't want to bring into the lab, contaminate our workspaces, and contaminate our work. But also, because we're treating every organism as pathogenic, we don't want to get these microorganisms that we're working with during lab on our personal items. And we also can't have too much clutter because then you can trip and knock over someone's Bunsen burner or just like there are so many different things that can happen with a cluttered lab. So we have to keep those things in a locker. If you have personal items which are valuable, you can bring a lock and put it on your locker or at the end of each bench there are cabinets um, and you can store your valuable laptop or something like that in the cabinet so it's not in your workspace but it's still in the lab and you can keep an eye on it okay um, and this has to be done before coming in this classroom do not eat drink smoke put on contacts chew gum put on makeup any of that stuff in the lab there are chemicals in here and microorganisms that we don't want to be getting in our bodies. These are also federal regulations. So any food or water has to be left in your locker. If the EPA comes in here and is inspecting us and sees that you have a water bottle in the lab, they're gonna smack you with a fine um, and it's just not safe. So please make sure to leave those things in the locker. Never trust the student that was in here before you, but be respectful of the people that are coming in afterwards. We always clean a lot in this lab, but now because of COVID especially, it's especially important to make sure that we use the disinfectant on our benches and our sponges to wipe down our work areas when we're done. Um, you're also gonna wipe down things like microscopes and shared items that you use after you're finished using them. Um, in the laboratory, when you have to, you need to be wearing lab coats or aprons, safety goggles, and disposable safety gloves. So if you already have a black apron from like chemistry or a lab coat or something, you can bring it in. That's perfectly fine. Um, you each have a tote, which will assign you in the back, um, and you'll keep your lab coats or your aprons in your totes. Um, if you need to borrow a lab coat or an apron, they're in the back. Um, Dr. Shen will allow you to use one on a first come first serve basis, but we're not sharing them. If you need to borrow a lab coat, you'll also put that in your tote so other people aren't using the same lab coats. Same with goggles. Um, if you need to use goggles, will you be sterilize them before you use them and before the next person ends up using them? But if you have your own goggles, please bring them in. We do not provide gloves in this class. So if you um, and the other people at your bench want to buy a box together, that's fine. You can share a box or you can buy your own gloves. You can get them in the first aid section at like Kroger, Walmart, CVS, anything like that. Or you can order them off of Amazon. I've seen a lot of gloves on Amazon. So. Um, Make sure you do that because that's one of our um, easiest PPE items to use to protect ourselves. Um, and a couple other basic things, you have to wear long pants and closed toed shoes in the lab anytime you enter a laboratory. Um, and I know that it's hot and nobody wants to wear pants and closed toed shoes